So as you would expect, the Western Conference is a lot more difficult than the East is when predicting the All-Stars. And there's a whole lot of names you have to leave off. But, um, you know, it's 12 guys. It's four guards, six front court, two wild card. And, uh, yeah, let's dive into it. Starting five, Steph, Harden, LeBron, Kawhi, AD. I think the, the idea of, like, Paul George or Jokic getting in over LeBron or Kawhi or Anthony Davis, probably just because of health and nothing else. I mean, I don't think anybody is going to vote either one of those two over those three um i mean maybe the anti-lebron movement just really comes in full force but i just feel like that's some little circle of people on twitter more than anything so that's the starting five the backups i have dame russ pg and Jokic. that one was pretty obvious and then for the last front court spot i have um go bear I think I, I definitely picked Carl Anthony Towns to make it over him last season, but I don't know. I just think the perception around Gobert is probably going to soften a little bit for whatever reason, and he's getting better offensively. He got up to like 16 points a game, and I feel like there's just a lot more excitement around Utah, so as a result, um, I just think he kind of gets there. Um... And again, there's a lot of names that I end up leaving off, and we'll we'll go through all those. Um, so we have the last two wild cards, or the only two wild card spots. One of these goes to Carl Anthony Towns, no doubt about it. I've said before, I think the dude could lead the league in scoring this season. Probably means you get onto the All Star team. And um, now it's time for the most interesting part, which is the one spot. And let me just read you some potential candidates in the Western Conference. We have D'Angelo Russell, Draymond Green, C.J. McCollum, Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Chris Paul, DeMar DeRozan, LaMarcus Aldridge, anybody on the Sacramento Kings, Zion, Luka, KP, and Devin Booker. I gotta pick one of those names. Apologies to, like, Jamal Murray and whoever else. So for this last spot, um, I want to go with Mike Conley. But it feels awkward saying that because I feel like if a second Utah player made it, like if two made it, it would be Gobert and Mitchell. Even if I don't necessarily agree with that, like, I kind of just feel like Mike Conley is better than Donovan Mitchell, you know? But that being said, I could picture Mitchell, like, scoring more points and Conley kind of taking a back seat and, you know, being really valuable, but Mitchell's just... The dude putting up more points and all that and that usually pushes you into the all-star game over a teammate and then it's like well are we gonna have three utah jazz well if that's gonna be the case and they got to be like the one seed which i don't think is gonna happen so yeah it's a, it's an awkward thing granted everybody's still hung up on me just saying that i think conley's better than mitchell but we're gonna keep on keeping on i'm gonna go with mike conley okay i just am I look at the players available, and I just think he's the best one. The cases for, like, Luka over him is that it's Luka, but I still think Conley doing the boring things and defense and making sure the offense is running correctly and all that stuff pushes him above Luka Doncic in Luka's second season. Remember, in my top 10 point cards video, I was kind of, like, confused as all hell as to why everybody calls Mike Conley underrated, but then when it's really time to acknowledge that, he's still underrated by everybody. So I'm just going to see, I'm going to see that energy all the way to the end and predict he makes the all-star team. Um, anyway, cases for everybody else. You know, in the case of LaMarcus Aldridge, it's, he just carries the Spurs. Granted, the on-off numbers with him and DeRozan are a little shaky, And you could suggest that the real reason the Spurs won nearly 50 games a year ago was because of the bench and all that. But um, Aldridge is still probably going to put up like 22, 23, and 10 or so. And the whole offense is run through him and everything. So, yeah. DeRozan, I don't think so. Like, I, I just think Aldridge is better. I think there's too many guys who are better than DeRozan for him to make it pretty much. In the case of Devin Booker, I mean, it, it's just the record. Like, I just think it's going to be too tough of a 
hill for him to climb with the coaches deciding the um, the second units and all that. And I think that'll be the case against Luka and Zion as well. The cases for them is that they're just going to be really good. Um, you know, with KP, I, th- I think it's just the fear that he's not going to get through the whole season. That's what I keep saying every time I mention the guy, but... I just feel like it's the only thing you really say because you can't question the dude's talent. It's the stamina, the health, and all that stuff. I guess I should probably talk about Draymond because, you know, Draymond 100% is probably like a pretty solid pick to make the All-Star game. But I don't know. You know, is there a chance that his offensive game looks even uglier at times this season? I mean... I know everything that happened in the playoffs, but there's a chance like there's a chance that Draymond just simply can't be the guy he was like three years ago for a whole season. Like there's a chance he can only be that throughout the playoffs or something like that. You know, some similar to like what I think Horford is gonna be now for Philly, where regular season it's like good, occasionally great, occasionally like what the hell was that? But then in the playoffs, you're like, oh, this is the guy that we wanted. And I feel like Draymond is kind of that at this point. So yeah, I guess a super deep cut would be like Drew. And for as much as I love Drew, don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I'm forgetting anyone obvious. If I am, then apologies to that player. So yeah, one more time, West All-Stars, Steph, Harden, LeBron, Kawhi, AD... And Dame, Russ, PG, Jokic, Gobert, and then Carl Anthony Towns, and Mike Conley. 